Hey guys, it's Frank from Cruising with Wheels. Welcome to today's bit of trivia. Find out all the crazy and weird things that maybe you didn't know. In this episode of Did You Know That? Well, today I'm going to give you a bit of insight on a few bits of trivia that maybe you did not know. Did you know that the colorful sidewalk bumps are not made to slow us down or keep us from slipping or some kind of traction control? Nope, they are not. They are referred to as tactile paving and are there for visually impaired people. Because of the raised bumps and bright colors, these sections of tactile paving are meant to warn visually impaired people where the sidewalk ends and where the street begins. These sidewalk bumps are sometimes called braille pathways. Depending on the pattern of the bumps, these pathways can signify different things like the street ending, that there is a set of train tracks ahead, or that there is a staircase or other tripping hazard ahead. Brilliant! Did you know that grapes light on fire in a microwave? Seriously, who knew? But back in 2011, a physicist at the University of Sydney went viral after he placed a grape in a microwave and filmed the fiery aftermath. I mean, was this guy bored? You couldn't think of something else to occupy your time? You're worried about grapes in a microwave? Anyways, oddly enough, scientists couldn't explain the phenomenon until quite recently. Uh, a March 2019 study published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences reported that the fruity fireball occurs as a result of loose electrons and ions that cluster to form plasma when grapes get hot. And there you go. Now, I can see everybody right now running to the refrigerator, finding grapes, and throwing them in the microwave. Oh, God, please don't. <laughs> Remember, you don't want an accident, and those microwaves are, can be very expensive. Did you know that the average U.S. household has 300,000 things in it. That's right. Every one of you probably has close to a third of a million items in your home. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Does that mean we're all hoarders? I don't know. I told it to my sister and she said, I believe it. She's in the process of cleaning out her kitchen dining area and she's like, I spent all day, how could I have so much stuff? I immediately told her this little bit of trivia. Did you know that Japan is suffering from a ninja shortage? That's right, you heard it right. A ninja shortage. Who would have thought? So if you've ever dreamed of being a ninja, uh, you might want to take time right now to make it a reality. The Japanese city of Iga, which has a rich history of martial arts masters and claims to be the birthplace of the ninja, is suffering from a ninja shortage. Despite the fact that they're willing to pay salaries as high as $85,000 a year for the performative ninjas willing and take on the job of staffing their annual ninja festivals. Career change, anyone? Click, I want to be a ninja. Did you know that William Shakespeare invented more than 1,700 words. That's right, invented. Who does that? Shakespeare wrote some of the most beloved and revered pieces of literature in the world. Uh, and, but in order to craft his plays and poems, he sometimes resorted 
to just making up his own words. In fact, he is said to have come up with more than 1,700 words, including words like moonbeam, laughable, eyeball, bump, puking, champion, bedroom, excitement, and zany. Yeah. William, Se William Shakespeare, you clever little dude. Did you know that Santa Claus was given an official pilot's license in 1927? Oh, God, I can't believe this stuff. Yeah. Santa Claus is legally allowed to drive his sleigh, at least in the United States. In 1927, the jolly man in, red, in the red suit was given a pilot's license from the Assistant Secretary of Commerce for Aeronautics, William McCracken. So put down the phone with 911. The fat man has a license. Did you know that McDonald's once created bubblegum flavored broccoli? Yuppers! The fast food chain developed it in 2014 as a tastier version of the leafy green for children. Can you imagine? And guess what? Are you ready? Guess what? Yup. It was a complete failure. McDonald's CEO admitted that kids were confused by the taste. Confused? Puke! Ugh. Let's move on. Did you know that extreme ironing is an actual sport? I couldn't believe this one. If you want to combine your love of cleaning with your love of getting wild, then maybe you'd like to try extreme ironing which was founded in 1997. It's been challenging competitors to press shirts in unexpected locations, like high up in the trees, hanging over cliffs, or paddling whitewater rapids. And it's been doing this for more than two decades. Now, I've got enough ironing troubles here in my house in my laundry room, and my sister doesn't iron at all. And those crazies, are ironing out of trees and hanging over cliffs? What the hell? That is nuts. So, tell me where you iron. I want to thank all of you for joining me today, and I'll be back next time for another episode of Did You Know That? On behalf of Kevin and myself from Cruising with Wheels, uh, remember, don't just watch our videos. Become a regular Cruising with Wheels family member and click that subscribe button. Also, click the little bell next to it. You'll get automatic notifications when our videos go live and when we go live every other Sunday. Also, follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And remember to always travel safe and cruise often.